Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be testing out Luma Labs AI's video nerfing. So, as y'all know, nerf before you had to take a bunch of pictures around an object, but now you can actually just import a video straight up on this app and it's going to nerf stuff for you. Now, if you don't know what nerf is, it's pretty much just like photogrammetry, but instead of having to scan all the walls and all the floors, you can just scan something like an object and rotate around it and it uses AI to pretty much fill in everything else, which is pretty darn insane. So with that being said, I went to Cyberpunk 2077 and just made a video pretty much just rotating around my this car right here. I just placed it in front of Lizzie's, which is the bar. It is a little bit choppy because it is this 4K resolution right now at pretty high quality. I think it's like lossless. So I just went around this in circle, having the car in the middle of the scene, right? And then what I did was I went to the Luma Labs AI and went to create new. And you can see some of the instructions right here. Uh, max file size is going to be five gigs. That's okay. And I just add a name in here like car or something like that. And you can select normal fisheye lens if you have it. Or if you have a 360 video, you can use that as well. So again, this is pretty crazy because you don't have to go and take a picture at every single step going around. You can just put a camera on a gimbal and record a video and it's going to nerf it for you. Pretty awesome stuff. So for me, it was just a normal lens, so that's okay. And I'll select, and then basically all you have to do is select the file and upload and then wait a couple of minutes. I think mine took maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And the result is gonna be this right here. So I'll click on this. Now this is the actual nerf that you're seeing right now. And again, the crazy thing about this is, I didn't have to photograph anything outside of this car. All I did was I focused on this car right here, just went around circles, and it captured the nerf for me. And I know what you're thinking, the textures are not really that good yet, but this is pretty early tech. Once again, once this improves, the freaking potential that this thing has is going to be insane. Because again, like with UEFN, you can nerf whatever you have in the real world and just bring it in and people are going to be able to play with it because as you all know they just released an unreal engine 5 plugin for this which is pretty much drag and drop so again if you look here i did not scan any of that and if i go to the actual mesh view it's going to show you the mesh of the car and this is actually going to show you where i can control the camera itself right pretty amazing stuff this is some pretty cool stuff so and if i go right here you're going to see that we have a couple of options you can get an interactive 3d nerf again you can go around and look at this this is actually a 3d mesh that you can export out and import into unreal I just went around like this and it captured the walls, the other cars. This is pretty cool stuff. All right, so that one's where they looked at. And then the vendor, video render is obviously what, um, what I showed on Instagram and Twitter. All right, so I'll go back out here and let me show you the export options real quick. Let me show you the export options. So if I click on download, you're going to see you can download it as a USDZ, GLTF, OBJ. All right, so you have low poly, medium poly, high poly. Additionally, I did create a tutorial on how to photo scan something on the outside world and bring it into UEFN. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out because the same thing, same concept applies to Unreal Engine 5. And here's the video render. And for the Unreal Engine, like I said, they do have a plugin now. Here's the plugin and here's the Luma field file. It's pretty much a blueprint that you just drag and drop into your content browser and it's gonna open up the actual mesh itself that you captured using Luma AI. Now I am gonna be planning a video shoot for this, so stay tuned for that, because I'm gonna be playing around with uh, Luma AI quite a bit on the outside world. So that being said, that's all I got for y'all right now. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.